Hey guys, I saw that Dix had the Aggressor Pro back at 299. They had this deal a couple times so far. Um, there's a ton of videos about these things. I picked one up uh, earlier this year, did a lot to it. I uh, love the bike. I uh, just fixed the derailleur hanger, had a little wipeout. That's broken. That was an easy fix. Um, got a surgery Monday for the rest of it. Anyhow, um, thought I'd go over the bike, show you guys what I've done. I've got some of you in uh, my Facebook groups always asking. So anyhow, I uh, got the large size Aggressor Pro. Um, I'll start with the tires. Uh, I really didn't have too much preference other than better tires than what came on it. Those were pretty sorry. Um, I got a pair of these Aggressor tires. Uh, I think they were about 30 bucks a piece. It's more of a rear tire but for 30 bucks it's a front tire for me um, did a tubeless setup I used TCS rim tape uh, nice and tight in there and some orange seal and I mean the first time I put it together it, it held air uh, after this last accident um, crashed the tube kind of bent over broke the seal got some dirt in there I took it off wiped the dirt out cleaned it up put it back together and pumped it up. I didn't even add more sealant. The sealant was still good and it's been in there about six months. Um, I used some valves off of uh, eBay and I'll put all the links for this down in the description. Just some basic eBay valves. It was really an easy setup. Uh, I've seen people do the same exact setup and have trouble. So I don't know if I just got a little lucky or what, but the tubeless setup is, is if you can make it work, it's where it's at for sure. Um, let's see. Uh, next thing, I did upgrade to hydraulic brakes. They're the Shimano. Got it written down here. The MT200s. It's like the most basic hydraulic brake that you're going to find. It's a step up from what came on it. They work great. Um, just for good measure, I put in new discs from Shimano. They weren't terribly expensive. Um, I, it was well under $100 for everything. Um, got these ODI grips. These are Rogue Lock-On. I like these. The, the rubber, if you look at the side profile, the rubber is a little bit bigger than the lock rings. I think these are the only grips from ODI that are like that. So they're real thick, real squishy. I got their matching uh, bar ends on there. I like those. Uh, put that all on a Spank Spoon 40 millimeter handlebar. I like that too. And uh, that is on a fun, which which is this fun, it's 10 degree rise. It's a super short, it's got a little rise to it. Um, it puts the bars where I want them. And I really like that. And uh, while I have this apart, putting in this RockShox Judy Silver, um, I put in a Cane Creek 40 headset. And I uh, really like this shock. Um, especially as I've got it dialed into my weight and where I ride it it's fantastic um, very much like that let's see moving down the bike I like the seat uh, a lot of guys say it's no bueno uh, I tried a couple of WTB seats they're nice I like this seat better so that's that's what I've stuck with um, got that on top of a trans X, trans X dropper post <sighs> I really didn't want the external cable. I just, my, my OCD, um, thought about drilling a hole and doing that, but I mean, I'm not that good of a mountain biker. Who am I kidding? So this is good enough for me. And, and if I get good enough, I'll just get a better bike. Um, but it gets the job done. Can't really push with the other arm. So a couple of cheap bottle cages on there. Those are fine. Um, these are Odyssey pedals. I like Odyssey pedals. They're the Grandstand MX. Those are cool. They kind of remind me of what I had as a kid. So they spin nice. They feel good. You know, a good pair of shoes on there. And man, you don't move on those guys. And then I put a Shimano 5100 group set on there. It's got the cassette, the derailleur and the crank um, that's awesome I mean it, it it shifts great I very much
much like it. Um, I don't like it. I don't have to have the second shifter here. It's cleaner. That's enough gears for what I'm doing by far. So I'm really happy with it. And uh, gosh, other than that, I guess that's just about everything I've done. I love the bike. Um, links are all going to be at the bottom. And for $2.99, I would, I would definitely pick one up. And if I were going to give suggestions on what I would do first, um, I'd say the first thing I would do is get some tires. I think that's probably the best thing I did. Find some for whatever your terrain is. Uh, I've got a lot of desert, soft sand. These are, uh, these are pretty awesome. Uh, I think probably the next upgrade that was probably the best, I would say probably the fork. Um, the fork and the brakes are pretty tight. I don't know, and the group set's awesome. But probably if I was gonna go through it, I'd probably start with tires, then the brakes, then the fork. And then the group set. Um, probably do some pedals first if that's your thing. The, the GT pedals that came on it were all right. Um, I had these, so they went right on right away. Um, other than that, I mean, the Rock Brothers Bell, because you know how it is. You tell people on your right, and what do they do? They all go to the left, except one guy goes to the right. So I found this is maybe better because at least they look back and figure it out and jump off the trail anyhow uh definitely pick one up uh links for all the parts i put on are in the descriptions uh give me your comments let me know what you think maybe what i did wrong what i should change um or if you've got any questions i'll answer them uh thanks so much and i hope this was helpful take care